Oh my god, I woke up late. Well, I never went to sleep till late, and then I woke up late, and now I'm gonna be going to the gym late, which kind of sucks because it's always so hot in there, and it's hard to get cool in Phoenix because it's just so hot everywhere. So, here we go. Oh god, it's so hot out here. Oh my god. Look at the little palm trees. That's cool, huh? Be careful. Hey, okay, guess what temperature it is outside at 11 a.m.? It's 98 degrees. Yeah. So, I don't know how people live, like, full-time in Arizona. Like, it is so hot. I, I think a lot of it is they stay inside. But the weird thing is about living here, it's like, I would assume, because you're awake, or you're inside all day, I would assume that at night you would get up and play, like the lizards and other mammals of sentience. But here, like, everything closes early, so it's like you're hiding all day inside, you go to sleep early, so it's like, what is the point? Like, what's going on? Like, y'all don't utilize your, I don't know, and it's hot at night, too. Like, when I leave work in the morning, it's like 89 degrees at 7 a.m. Guy with some short shorts. The only thing is, it's like everyone over here, like, if you see a fancy car, it's probably an old ass man. Or if, like, you think you see someone cute and then you look and then they're just like an in shape old man. The guys here don't seem too bad. It's the girls that seem like really snobby, snobbery. But whatever, I'd be angry too if my puss was all sweaty and wet in the daytime because it was so friggin' hot. I kind of want to be bugged with the amount of people that keep like jumping in front of me as I'm driving like with their big ass cars But at the same time They're taking advantage of a good of a situation because I've been leaving a car length in front of me Um Because I thought that's how we were supposed to drive but whatever They're young people and they're getting it so So I'm just leaving Hobby Lobby. I got this cute little look at this bitch Fucking scary bitch. She went and bought all the flags. Let's see. If she's in like a Bentley or something, I can maybe see why she's acting so American right now, but I doubt it. Ford Explorer. Sorry, honey. That was so weird. She was like, like talking to herself, and her kids were just like. Like, I think they knew something was going on. Maybe she snapped. Put that boot right back on your neck, honey. Okay, so now I'm gonna get ready to go back home. And what is, I gotta go do homework. So that's that. Um, I guess I could go pick up some snacky snacks from, no, I already bought groceries yesterday, so I really don't need to be out and about. And it is 108 degrees right now, so I'm going to get my happy ass Back to where I was before. Hi guys. So I'm headed down to Chandler. I'm gonna go meet up with one of my friends to eat because we were supposed to like a while ago and then I got an ear infection and he thought I was playing him and I was like, no, I literally left the house, almost threw up and went home, went right back to bed. And he's like, oh, like you were sick sick? And I was like, yeah, I was like sick sick because I had an ear infection. And he's like, oh. So I kind of owe him dinner because he waited for me at the place and he's like, you're really not coming? And I was like, uh-uh, I'm sick, bitch. I don't do nothing if I'm sick. Um, so here I go. <coughs> Actually, we have a walk around friend date first. We're gonna go to REI because I want a Borealis backpack, like a big one. But I want to see if what they have over there, because they have pretty cute little hiking shit. Um, maybe some cute little hiking zapatos. But I ain't trying to go hiking with nobody. He's like, oh, yay, come be outdoorsy with me. I was like, oh, no, I go to REI for, like, water bottles and backpacks. Like, I don't go there to look for hiking. So I'm just leaving 
Um, I got a couple things. One of them I could just show you now. So it's a bigger hero clip than the one I had before. It's so big. <laughs> it's funny big, but I don't see these in real life, so I grabbed them real quick. And then I also got this little Fjall Raven. Uh, I was looking for a pencil case, but I got what I could get because you never know what they got in Fjall Raven. And I was telling my friend about Fjall Raven and Konkin and stuff. I was like, yeah, I'm like when I'm a reviewer of them online. Like, that's my thing. <laughs> so I don't know. Anyway, we're on our way to food. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> so we came to this place, but there's a wait. So we're trying to figure out what to do. But it's just so very hot here. Like, it makes me sick. And then you could kind of, like, sit outside, but the mist just, like, wet you. I want my camera to get wet. So I guess we're just going to stand around for a minute. And that's fine. <laughs> What's Brad? Say hi, Brad. Hi. <laughs> Yummy. Look at all the stuff they have. So delicious looking. Yum, yum, yum. So cute. Already? Okay, never mind. Camillas are good. <laughs> I was thinking I'm going to the store. Brad's going to the store. But I'm going home to eat my cake in front of a cartoon. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't even think anyone does this anymore. But I do. Oh my god. Most of my energy is being used to hold my stomach in right now. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me out, Brad. You're welcome. Hey, okay. I'll see you guys in a minute. Bye. So, lots of people were looking at me funny because, probably because I was vlogging. So, I don't think anyone does this anymore, but I do because I'm a hipster. Anyway, <laughs> I'm so full right now. So, I got pulled over. I had to do a sobriety test. Um, he was like, Are you Native American? And I was like, No. Why? And he's like, Well, you pulled over at the reservation. And I was like, I did not know I was at a reservation. And he's like, okay, well, uh, were you drinking tonight? And I was like, I had like a glass of wine with dinner. I'm not gonna lie. And he's like, okay, go ahead and step out of the car, please. And I was like, oh, this is it. <laughs> this is what it happens. And then like, um, he was just like, he was really nice about it. He was very polite and stuff. But I was like, oh my god, you are so pretty. I wasn't saying this to him, but I was like, you are so pretty. He had like bright green eyes, big old muscles, pretty tan skin. And I was like... He's like, made me do all the tests and he's like, okay, well... What's going on? And I was like, I don't know, I'm just really tired and I'm a night shifter and I didn't sleep last night, so I really am very tired right now, so I just want to go home and go to bed. He's like, okay, well, I'm going to give you a ticket. I can't do a whole lot because you're at, you pulled over at the reservation and we don't really have a lot of jurisdiction here. And I was like, okay, thank you. And he's like, told me how to pay the ticket. But like, that was so scary. I was like, this is it. They're going to say gay people have no rights and just shoot the fuck out of me. But they didn't. And he was very nice, very polite, and very professional, and very handsome. But I probably was going really fast. And he's like, this thing uh, moves, huh? This thing's pretty pretty smooth, moves really quick. And I was like, yeah, it's a BMW. It's the ultimate driving machine. And he's just like, ha ha. I'm like, oh god, did I incriminate myself? Like, oh my god. So that fucking sucked. But I had a great dinner, fun time with Brad. And Aaron got kind of mad at me. He's like, you need to slow down. I was like, don't beat me when I'm down. Jeez. And he's like, okay, well, all you can do is pay your ticket. And I was like, okay, thank you. But yeah, I know. I should have been slowing down. But I was so excited to get home. <sighs> but at least I'm not in jail. <laughs> so, I don't know. All right, well, I will talk to you guys later. I need to get some rest because I was crying for a second because I thought I was going to go to jail.